Hi and welcome to today's video, where we'll be taking an in-depth look at the deadly electric eel. These fascinating creatures have the ability to generate powerful electric shocks that can stun or even kill their prey, and they have a long and interesting history in both scientific research and popular culture. In this video, we'll delve into the biology and behavior of the electric eel, as well as some of the myths and misconceptions surrounding these animals. We'll also explore how electric eels are used in scientific research and how they're impacted by human activities. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of the deadly electric eel. The electric eel is a type of fish that is native to the Amazon and Orinoco River basins in South America. It is the only known species of fish that can generate electric shocks, and it is one of the few true species of eel as most eel-like fishes are actually members of the lamprey or conger eel families. Electric eels are long and slender, with a streamlined body that allows them to swim swiftly through the water. They can grow to be up to 8 feet, 2.4 meters, in length, and weigh up to 44 pounds, 20 kilograms. Despite their name, electric eels are not actually eels at all, but rather a type of knife fish. Electric eels have a number of specialized organs that allow them to generate and discharge electric shocks. These organs are located along the length of the body and are made up of specialized cells called electrocytes. When the electric eel wants to generate a shock, it contracts these cells in a coordinated manner, causing a current to flow through its body. Electric eels have three main types of electrocytes, low voltage, intermediate voltage, and high voltage cells. The low voltage cells are used for everyday activities such as communication and navigation, while the intermediate voltage cells are used for hunting and defense. The high voltage cells are used for delivering powerful shocks that can stun or kill prey. Electric eels are able to generate shocks of up to 600 volts, which is enough to stun a human and cause involuntary muscle contractions. However, the current is not strong enough to cause lasting harm to a healthy adult. Electric eels use their electric shocks primarily for hunting and defense. They are opportunistic predators and will eat anything they can catch, including fish, amphibians, and even small mammals. When hunting, electric eels will locate their prey using their highly sensitive electroceptors, which can detect the electrical signals emitted by other animals. Once the prey is located, the electric eel will deliver a series of powerful shocks to stun or kill it. The eel will then use its strong jaws and sharp teeth to tear off pieces of flesh and swallow them whole. Electric eels are also known to use their electric shocks as a form of defense against predators. They will generate a series of shocks to deter potential attackers, and if necessary, they will deliver a powerful shock to disable or kill the predator. In addition to their electric shocks, electric eels have a number of other adaptations that help them survive in their aquatic environment. They have a streamlined body that allows them to swim quickly and easily through the water, and they have a highly developed sense of hearing and smell. They also have excellent eyesight, which allows them to locate prey even in the dark. Electric eels are found in freshwater environments, such as rivers, streams, and swamps. They prefer slow-moving or still water and are often found in areas with dense vegetation. Electric eels are most commonly found in the Amazon and Orinoco River basins in South America, but they have also been found in other parts of the region, including Venezuela, Colombia, and Guyana. Electric eels are solitary creatures and are typically found alone or in small groups. They are most active at night and spend much of the day resting in hidden spots, such as burrows or under logs. Electric eels are not known to be vocal creatures, but they do communicate using their electric shocks. They use low voltage shocks for everyday activities such as communication and navigation, and they used higher voltage shocks for hunting and defense. Electric eels are also able to detect the electric fields emitted by other animals, which allows them to locate prey and avoid predators. Despite their fearsome reputation, electric eels are actually quite vulnerable to extinction. They are highly dependent on the quality of their aquatic environment, 
and they are vulnerable to habitat loss, pollution, and overfishing. In addition, electric eels are often caught and killed for use in traditional medicine and for their skin, which is used to make leather goods. Electric eels have long been the subject of scientific research, and they have played a key role in our understanding of the biology and behavior of these fascinating creatures. Scientists have studied electric eels to learn more about their anatomy, physiology, and behavior, and they have also used electric eels as a model organism for studying the evolution and development of the nervous system. Electric eels have also played a role in popular culture, appearing in literature, film, and television. They have been depicted as both fearsome monsters and as benign or even comical creatures, and they have inspired a number of myths and misconceptions about their behavior and abilities. The electric eel is a fascinating and complex creature that has captivated the attention of scientists and the public for centuries. With their ability to generate powerful electric shocks, electric eels are truly one of the world's most shocking creatures. Despite their fearsome reputation, electric eels are actually quite vulnerable to extinction, and it is important that we work to protect these amazing animals and their habitats. Thank you for watching this video on the deadly electric eel. I hope you have a better understanding of these fascinating creatures and the role they play in the natural world. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Until next time. Stay curious.